Let's look at a problem in polar coordinates. So a radar gun at O rotates with an angular velocity of theta dot equals 0.1 radians per second and an angular acceleration of theta double dot equals 0.025 radians per second squared. At the instant theta equals 45 degrees as it follows the motion of the car traveling along the circular road having a radius of r equals 200 meters, determine the magnitudes of the velocity and the acceleration of the car at this instant. So in our last video, we defined our equations for acceleration and velocity. So velocity equals r dot times u sub r plus r theta dot times u sub theta. And acceleration we have defined as a equals, oops, a equals r double dot minus r theta dot squared u r plus 2r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot in the theta direction. So with both of these here, we have our r component and our theta component and theta. So we can start now by looking at our problem. So we're going to say that since r is a constant, r dot would equal the same as r double dot and it would equal zero. Since r equals 200 meters, a constant, because taking the derivative of a constant would just give you zero. So now let's look at the velocity in the r and in the theta direction. So velocity in the r direction would be r dot, and that's going to be zero for the reasons we said above. And in the theta direction, that doesn't look like a v. So theta direction, we're going to say r times theta dot, and that's going to be equal to 200, our r value, times 0.1. So we know from the problem that theta dot equals 0.1. And plugging that in is going to give us 20 meters per second equals theta dot, or V theta. And the magnitude is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So VR and V theta. And that's going to be equal to... 0 squared plus 20 squared and the square root of that and that's going to also be 20 meters per second which is going to be the magnitude of the velocity also known as the speed so now we can move on and look at acceleration so acceleration we're going to look at acceleration in the r direction. So a r, and that's going to be equal to r double dot minus r theta dot squared. And that will be equal to 0 minus 200 times 0.1 squared, which will give us negative 2 meters per second squared. And in the theta direction, that will give us our theta double dot plus two r dot theta dot. So that will give us 200 times 0 0.025. And again, that one is given to us in the problem up here. And plus zero because we know that our r dot is equal to zero. So that will give us five meters per second squared. And the magnitude is going to be equal to a equals 
a r squared plus a theta squared. So plugging in will be negative 2 squared plus 5 squared. And that will give us about 5.4 meters per second squared, which will be the magnitude of the acceleration. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps support my channel and helps me continue making videos for you guys. I'll see you next time.